What's up guys? So I'm here with Sim and we're at Self Made. It's been a while since we last filmed something together, right? Yeah, For I actually YouTube. remember the last one we did was Cardio. Uh, climate yeah, you account. guys love that one. So today's going to be a little bit different. Today we're taking you through squats. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do three variations. I might also throw in one cheeky one for you ladies as well for the glutes. But yeah, so today we're going to hit squats. We're going to do uh, the normal stance, narrow stance, and then sumo squats as well. You were laughing, huh? It was going super wide. Yeah, that, so I don't know what this is, guys. You don't have to do this. <laughs> it was more like this. It was like... You know, it's like... <laughs> We're gonna, sure do We're like, gonna do it. Yeah, We're there's like some sort of gnome or something that does that. <laughs> anyway, don't worry, guys. It won't look quite like that. But yeah, I'm excited. My first time here, so let's get going. Twenty. <laughs> you don't want to match the red? Go <laughs> all red? Uh, not for me. No, no. I'm a, I can't have a red wearer. A little too out. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna do the regular amount of squats that I'll do conventionally. Conventionally, I will do hmm, six to eight sets of squats. Sometimes 10. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a very good day, it can be 10, yeah. but that's, that's few and far between, you know? But um, yeah, so we're not gonna do that today. Just for this demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna be doing maybe three to four sets of each exercise, just so you can get an idea, you know? And one thing I want you to know is, the form needs to stay the same, regardless of what weight is on the bar. I've done a video before, it was called, I think, Why Title Mind Learn to Love Squats or something. Yes, yeah. And we literally touched on that. Like, don't yeah. be afraid to strip the weight off. Start with just the bar, just until you get your form right and you're comfortable. Yeah. No shame in it, guys. Yeah. No Do you know shame. what? You know? So would you say as a rule of thumb, you should be able to perform. I remember when I first started kind of getting into the weightlifting, you said to me, um, you should be able to perform a few reps, like two to three reps, yeah. before I even increase the weight. Oh like, yeah, for sure. So would for you sure say you, that as a spot it's, it's, as well? it's, it's, I just say you have to own it. So you have to own before it. you get someone to spot you on squats, you would say you should actually be able to do that weight yourself for a couple not of reps Not necessarily first. because see, that's, the thing, that's the bit where it's going to get confused because yeah. I'm not saying that you shouldn't use a spotter to push yourself to go heavier. Because if you, if you don't, then you, know, you might be scared to try a weight and you, 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 you want someone there to, to help. Yeah. But my point is, Say for example, you're saying, you're claiming, oh yeah, I squat five plates. But every time you've done it, there's a guy behind you yeah. frigging squeezing onto you like you wouldn't believe. Like, that, that's, not, that's not you, <laughs> you know? That's, yeah. that's, that's you and the person behind. <laughs> Bit of a cold at the moment going on um, and it's crazy how much your breathing actually affects your performance as well squat I'm going to show you is the kneeling squat and I've had a lot of you ladies ask me about this one so although the kneeling squat hits the glutes the most uh, I wouldn't recommend substituting it for the barbell squat overall the barbell squat is a bit over round exercise you're not just hitting your glutes you're hitting your hamstrings and quads whereas with this one it's pretty much just targeting the glutes I would however recommend it as a great burnout after glute day so literally use it as a finisher and expel all that last bit of energy So I definitely 
would recommend having something to protect your knees, guys. Um, if it is aching your knees, then perhaps use some extra padding underneath or just keep the weight slightly lower. Okay, guys, so we're going to do narrow stance squats. Now, with narrow stance squats, the trick is you want to keep your feet narrower than shoulder width apart. So you'll see Sims, he has his feet all the way together. If for you, you don't have enough balance, then just make sure they're within your shoulders. Uh, we have squat shoes on. So these help us amazingly with our balance. If you don't, you can use a plate and actually place it underneath your heel like this. So your heel's less likely to rise up. and keep your heels flat on the floor because they do have a tendency to try and come up when you're doing that. Uh, try and keep your knees together and uh, yeah, try and go as deep but as controlled as possible. She mentioned that you may not have noticed it, but um, we have all of our, our sets. But throughout the rep, you're, you're controlling things like that, making sure your heels don't come up, yeah. um, making sure you don't go too far forward. You know, so there's there's all these things that you need to. That's why the tempo's slower. You know, it's much slower because as I'm coming down, I'm thinking about it, thinking about it, yeah. you know, control. Um, whereas with a normal squat, you know, you can pretty much let yourself drop, well, drive up. You know, well, as I was saying, with normal squats, this is like your support system, like this. And then as soon as you're like this, you're more vulnerable. It's like, you know. Okay, what we're gonna do now, we're, we're gonna do some wide stance squats. So if you wanna hit your inner thighs, this is for you guys. Really good, man. Really yeah? good. I enjoyed yeah. that. No, yeah. me too. Me too. So I hope you guys, you know, had something you can take away from this video. Um, what we normally do on leg day is we'll do the uh, the barbell squats, the normal stance, and then the narrow stance as well. I know I showed you four different types of squats today. Uh, I would recommend you do all of them in one. Um, perhaps do the uh, normal barbell and then the narrow. You can even throw in the kneeling squats at the end, like I said, to really burn your glutes out. But yeah, we wanted to show you guys today different squats we do and uh, hopefully you try them out. So comment below, let us know what video you want to see us do next. You guys are always DM me, letting me know. But yeah, we're, we're on it. We train, so why not film it for you? That's enough. All right, bye.